Welcome back to the Wargrove of Well. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the upcoming changes to Beasts of Chaos in the White Dwarf issue 473. These changes are truly massive and monstrous, um, and will definitely be giving Beasts of Chaos players a huge buff to their overall capability and scariness. Um, in the White Dwarf, there were changes to uh, narrative and open play. As that is not the focus of my channel, I will not be covering those in this video. I will be only covering the changes to matched play. So without further ado, let's get started. So what all has changed? So what has changed is that there is now a, new, a wide selection of monstrous actions and a update to the Hearthstone. So the monstrous actions one combined with the Hearthstone is really powerful. There is a new monstrous action, one for each of the big uh, monsters that Beasts of Chaos has access to, as well as a general use one. Now, this is important because the way monstrous actions work, you can potentially get every single one of these rampages off in a turn. Because of how monstrous rampage works, you cannot double up on a rampage, but each of your monsters can do one. So. The fact that these are specific to a monster, if you have one of each of these monsters, you can do each one of these um, rampages per turn, which is insane, and they all have really powerful effects. Some of them have some conditions that need to be met, but if you can get them all off, very, very powerful. And the updates to the Hearthstone make it super powerful. like absurdly powerful and a great buff to all beasts of chaos definitely makes it a little bit more of a target for enemy monsters to come and try and demolish it so make sure to be a little bit protective of your big herdstone now more so than you already were but regardless so on to the monsters rampages this is a very interesting change, and I, for one, love it. The fact that it is specific to each monster allows them to be a little bit more flavorful and make them a little bit more tailored to what that monster wants to do. First up is the Monster Rampage for Gorgons. These are your big four-armed uh, beasties. They get a plus one rend, and if they slay any models, you can heal for the amount of wounds of the slain model. And this is each time a model is slain. So that's a huge heal. You can go from no health at all, all the way up to full if you kill enough infantry or kill enough big wound stuff. This is a very, very strong monstrous action. Combined with the changes to the herd stone, which we'll go over uh, soon, this makes Gorgons, uh, I think, an auto-include. You always at least want one Gorgon now with this Monster's Rampage. The Saigor, a little bit more of a anti-magic niche artillery piece unit, does a little bit more stuff with magic. So you can pick one in the spell. It doesn't have to be friendly or enemy. Within six inches, an attempt to dispel. So roll 2d6 and uh, try and get rid of it. And if you do successfully get rid of it, you heal the amount equal to the dispelling roll. Again, could potentially be a full heal. Uh, then is the Jeberslythe, the monstrous winged thing. Um, you pick one enemy hero within three inches and you roll a dice. On a two to five, you worsen their save by, by one. And if you roll a six, you worsen it by two. This is a crazy powerful effect. Because for starters, it allows unrendable heroes to be rended, essentially. So you can get around ethereal saves and other things that prevent uh, an enemy from um, not being rended. It is a hero and you have to be in combat and all that jazz, but it's still an insanely powerful effect. Next, the Chimera is a very simple one. It's just plus one attacks to all your melee attacks, but you cannot split. So you have to focus all of them into something, which I think is, yeah, that's good. If you just want to get rid of something, this is perfect because you can just bulldoze straight through it. The general use one is also a very good one because if you just have monsters floating about that aren't necessarily going to benefit from any of the other monsters rampages you can do this and get some primordial call points 
So if you don't know, Primordial Call is how Beasts of Chaos summons their, um, their units. So having access to a way to generate more is always a good thing. Um, albeit it's not a lot of Primordial Call points, but it's better than nothing. It's another way to generate them that isn't sacrificing uh, Ungors or something like that. Now for the Hearthstone changes. This kind of is the, the cherry on top. The Hearthstone now gives plus one rent to all Beasts of Chaos units on the battlefield. And then at the start of battle round three, it increases to a plus two rend. This is insane. There's no aura to this. It's just if it's on the battlefield, you get rend. And this combined with the Gorgon um, monster's action can give the Gorgon minus four rend, which is almost unrendable. Or excuse me, not unrendable, unsavable. You would have to get to a two-up save with various um, pluses and all that jazz in order to save this. So the only things that can potentially save a Gorgon with all of these buffs is Stormcast or anything that has a base three-up save, because only then can you get to a two-up. And even then, you have to get a lot of plus one to saves. Um, additionally, I they changed up the uh, how the aura for like Battleshock manipulation works. It's still 12 inches and it still gives you more uh, range each battle round. Um, but what it does is you half the number of uh, troops that flee from Battleshock and you get a four plus rally ability. Holy crap. I can kind of see this being useful on um, your sacrificial lamb units where if you just want to get, if you're running low on some scapegoats and you want some more of those, you can get a four up rally. Or otherwise, if you have a lot of horde style uh, units, four up rally is super powerful. You can get a lot of units back. So the low bravery from Beasts of Chaos hurts a lot less now. Overall, amazing change. Before we end this video, I'd like to give an extra special thanks to our Patreon supporters, especially Nick Hoff. You guys are awesome. The fact that you are supporting me monetarily and allowing me to do this hobby is kind of a dream come true. It's so amazing that you guys are here to help me out through this uh, journey and help me create a community that is flourishing. Um, if you'd like to become a Patreon supporter or join the Discord, there will be links in the description below. So those are the new changes to Beasts of Chaos in White Dwarf issue 473. These changes are super, super impactful, and I think that Beasts of Chaos players are going to like breathe a huge sigh of relief uh, now that their army has a few more tools and tricks to use that aren't going to um, hurt them as much. So definitely a good time to start collecting Beasts of Chaos, because their battle tome's probably around the, around the corner some, somewhere. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, consider subscribing. This has been the Wargrove of Woe, and I'll see you guys next time.